Welcome everyone with your program Pills of Yuna who unveil the most successful story and person here in UAE today from Dubai City with the artist Mr. Kamal Yazic. Welcome Mr. Kamal. Thank you very much. We are so happy to meet you today. Thank you for coming. I'm very happy with you to have this interview. So uh, today we will speak about you and about your successful story in Dubai. From the beginning, we need to know okay. more details about yeah. you to present you for everyone. Okay. So my name is Kemal Yazici and uh, I was born in Turkey and uh, when I was seven years I uh, went with my parents to Germany. So I went to the school and later I got a degree in a, in a mechanic uh, metal branch Then I was working uh, for 10 years. After that I uh, started with the, the school again to get the degree for study architecture. Then after I got my degree in architecture, I set up my own uh, architecture office in Germany. And uh, I was working there for 10 years uh, around in Germany. Then I moved to Turkey, uh, to the Aegean coast. Uh, it's a very well known holiday area actually. It's a very nice area, it's Bodrum. And in Bodrum I set up uh, 2016 um, uh, construction company as an arch uh, architect and construction as well mm -hmm. uh, for key ready villas for Germans for English people and around the world everybody and uh, then I worked a lot of years in Bodrum still I have my company uh, there but um, I moved the, uh, the, the center of my life to to Dubai 2014 when I married my wife. She is here uh, a gynecologist and she's working here. She was before uh, I came to here uh, working already. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I yeah, was thinking about how, uh, uh, how we can manage it. So uh, is it better to move my, for my wife to Turkey or move for m myself to, to Dubai? And so we decided to live here. And um, yeah, my wife wanted to live here because she loved Dubai and also her job here. Yes. And yeah, uh, in the first beginning, when I came to Dubai, I was not so connected because I was always traveling to Turkey three times a month. And uh, after a time when my son grew up, he was uh, yeah, three, four, he started to say, Daddy, don't go and don't stay too much uh, or too long in Turkey. So I thought about uh, yeah, what to do. I need to do something. And um, I uh, th started to think about my passion. And this was always art. Yeah? And um, yeah, this is uh, what I uh, developed in my mind. And later, uh, yeah, I started to, to, to paint here, but also uh, I did my job in Turkey, but I, you know, I have stuff there and they were working and doing the work for me. I was connected with them always with the phone and, yeah. and uh, internet. And so it was running and I could set up here my passion, what I wanted to do, my, not lifelong, but since, since I am 16 years old, when I got my first uh, contact to art. Mm -hmm. uh, and my first contact to art came with a friend of mine in Germany. Uh, he was uh, doing art and later he started to study in Wuppertal in Germany uh, in the art uh, uh, University of Art. And I visited him, I saw his uh, very nice uh, canvases, oil paintings, and, uh, and, and, and uh, like this. So uh, I was very inspired and uh, I wanted to do something like this, but it was actually always in, 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 in me, yeah, in, inside uh, yeah. in me, yeah, and, and uh, I was doing uh, coal paintings and with watercolors. Later in architecture, I got my my also a little education in art and uh, in history of art. So I was, uh, yeah, I was infected with art, you know, yes. I want to do this. And yeah, it was the right time to think about and I, I after it was ripe in my uh, mind, mm -hmm. then I started to look for a location. 
And uh, so I find this location here, it's a mm -hmm. very nice location, which is developed by the government, by the rulers here. And uh, it's, it's, yeah, I think it's a very special area here because there is already uh, an art space like Al Serkal, it's very close to here. And uh, the owners of here, this place, are developing this area. Um, also, I think it, 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 it will become uh, um, like Art Selka, maybe even bigger uh, area, because there is behind a, a big area. They are developing this part as well as an art complex here. And I'm really proud to be a part of this area because it starts right now, but I'm sure it will get in higher and uh, well-known place. Talking more about your passion, the art, who's the person who supports you, who encourage you every time from the first step? Um, my wife for sure, she started from the beginning uh, to support me with everything because uh, it was a, a you know, difficult decision to, to, to do something complete, uh, complete different. Uh, it was my passion, I wanted to do this, do this but uh, to, to, to do this as, uh, as a profession, it's not easy. So I started to paint and uh, the, the, the people was interested to buy it and my, my wife always supported me in the background and uh, said, yeah, you can do it and like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, later, uh, for sure, Bilge is one of the most important persons because she's also very experienced one. She managed uh, a theater in Germany, in Berlin, and in Munich, and she's very experienced and she supports me very nicely. Yeah. So, um, yeah, these are the main supporters. Uh, for sure, my parents as well, everybody in my yeah, Nobody was speaking, uh, you know, you cannot do it or like this. Yeah. Everybody was very positive, and this gave me really uh, 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 the, the power of go ahead. Hi everyone, my name is Bilge. I am the general manager of Bedia Gallery. Um, Kemal Yesuju is the artist and the owner of the gallery. And I met Kemal um, actually uh, through a friend, but also uh, when he had his business in uh, Bodrum. So always I bumped into him in the airplane. So that is how we came together and then when he told me about his uh, gallery, I said, oh, I can help you, you know, we can build up this together. So that's why I'm here. And um, Kemal is, as you can see, this uh, painting behind me, that is the scene two, and it, it is composed of 15 layers. So Kemal is his imagination when he comes into his atelier upstairs and he sees and then he sits half an hour or one hour or one day and then you come next day, oh, the painting looks different, what's happened? And that is how his imagination come into action in his paintings. I hope to see you one day here to welcome you in our gallery. And in the meanwhile, uh, stay well. Welcome, everyone. the best destination for everyone, the dream, it's Dubai. Uh, when you come for this country, what's your vision about it in this time? What you see in Dubai? 
the sculpture, Dubai, the diversity. Dubai, uh, it's, it's not only as a human, it's also as an architect. Yeah? It's a beautiful, you know, uh, every, every famous architect has any building here and you can see the future, the future of the world and they are developing everything so good. Even the, 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 the time, for example, uh, where was the COVID, yeah? it was so well managed. All the people wanted to live here. Everything is um, uh, yeah, easy. Also when I wanted to set up my company, for example, even when I want, uh, went uh, to the government, mm -hmm. uh, it was always very easy to get access and they were really ha very helpful to set mm -hmm. up the, uh, the, the gallery, for example. Yes. Yeah? And uh, I think this is uh, very inspiring also, um, uh, the, the buildings and uh, uh, everything, the, the, the desert, you know, the people are very... Uh, in, a big inspiration for me to do art here and as a space of art Dubai is a very interesting place because everybody I know want to exhibit in Dubai and it's a, you know, it's a, it's a pleasure for me to be one of the people who can uh, exhibit uh, my, my art uh, in Dubai. When we talk about the gallery, it's a very nice place and the color, Thank everyone you. he feel comfortable when he come here. He feel uh, alive, the colors, and uh, we, we feel uh, very happy when we see this color. So talking about this place for everyone, for the following, for us, uh, what you have exactly, who want to come and visit this uh, nice place? So this place is actually uh, to bring the people together. Uh, it's a place for communication. It's a place uh, to connect the paintings. It's uh, a place uh, to connect with the artists. Uh, right now, it's, uh, I exhibit only my paintings, but in the future, for sure, we want to exhibit also local and national, international. Uh, and it will be an interesting place to connect the people and connect art. Yes. Also, we have in the same place another uh, passion. Here yeah, in the studio, you have uh, your private corner, this yes. one. Talking about this one, this painting. Yeah, in, the, uh, in this space uh, upstairs, I also have my studio. And this is my holy place uh, where I have my... Maybe it's a little spiritual and uh, it's uh, where I think, where I create. And uh, so I have always... Every time, actually, I'm coming in the early in the morning to my studio and uh, thinking about what I want to do and um, uh, the, the, the new collection. Uh, then after I have the mind about this, uh, then I start with the collection and I think about the colors which I want to use. Mm -hmm. And the main uh, work I do is actually it's the technique of a very famous uh, German artist Gerhard Richter. It's I, I work with squeegees, yeah, self-made squeegees, uh, construction materials which are coming from my uh, business as an architect, uh, construction area, and uh, actually I use everything uh, you can imagine for create a painting. I think the intention is really. Uh, to create art because you can do it with everything actually yeah exactly. and uh, yeah this kind of doing art my art is actually layering and uh, the the paintings last up to three months to be finished because I paint 90% uh, with oil oil paint and oil paint need to uh, dry and it takes a long time for drying so when I put the first layer with, yeah, three, four layers, the first layer already three, four layers, then it needs to dry. Then the second one is coming and the third one is coming. And in this way, I need to decide, which is the most difficult part actually, to say stop. Now I have what I want. 
I have, I'm connected in my subconscious with a, with a painting. I see something. I see uh, the colors are matching together. I see the, uh, the, the sometimes uh, humans, sometimes the woods in, from my childhood. Sometimes I see the sea of Bodrum. Sometimes I see the, the buildings of Dubai. Yeah, then it's time for me to say stop. Yeah, and then when it's finished, it's at least two layers. Yeah, but each layer has three, four layers. So it means uh, a painting which is finished uh, has at least eight to 15, 20 layers. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, this is uh, the, 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 the beauty of the painting is coming with the mixing of the colors. I'm, I, I do also mixing the colors on the table or on my, uh, with the spatula and, and uh, apply it on the canvas. But also, these colors are mixing together on my canvas. And this with the, uh, with the squeegees, which are sometimes two meters. Yeah, if I create, for example, large paintings like this one, then I need two meters. And this is, uh, yeah, this is heavy. And this is sometimes applying the paintings uh, need to need very uh, uh, much power and uh, yeah to stop with it to say stop this is nice and this is matching with everything and this is a harmony this is the most difficult part of my painting actually so uh, today uh, from your side and from your experience here in Dubai we need this motivation message for the new generation yeah. the person that they have this dream this passion of art so my message to all the young creators, starters, is believe in yourself, do what you feel, and take time, but believe in you and do it. You can create with everything in this world. You can, you can create with everything uh, uh, what you have uh, with you, yeah, with a pen or with a uh, metal piece of metal you can create with the with the with the uh, metal money with, you can create with everything art and uh, you need to give your for everything for your um, career time it's it's step by step you cannot reach from today tomorrow everything you need to go these steps everybody need to go these steps and it's very hard work yeah but uh, everybody can do this uh, Dubai and UAE is not just a place for life today, it's uh, the place for success for you, your stability, your life, your family here in Dubai. So uh, from your side also some message for this country, for the leaders of UAE. Yeah, okay. Uh, we know uh, as a family, my wife, my son, we love Dubai and uh, this is really, uh, I think, one of the best places to live, to work, and uh, the opportunities you have here in Dubai uh, are so great. And I need to uh, thank you to all the rulers, the leaders here in Dubai to give uh, me and my family this opportunity to have a very nice life here. Thank you so much. We are so happy to meet you today. Like a great example here in Dubai. Thank you so much. Thank you so much uh, for coming. It was a pleasure for me to talk with you and have this interview. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much. So thank you so much, everyone. See you next week with Pearls of Funeral Program. Bye-bye.